Thank you for joining me, fellow Guardians. This is Sam from Multiverse Mission Control, and today's quest is Finding Paradise. So last time we discovered that Faye was the reason Colin became a pilot in the first place, and he's also enjoying many times with Sophia, but also, like, regrets here and there. <laughs> oh well. Anyway. I must preface by saying it's one of the most awkward things when a YouTuber you like is doing the same series as you. Because I'm doing... Small uninhabited aquarium. Well, that seems redundant. Because I want to be able to catch up to Cry's playthrough, but I don't want to watch it without, you know, spoiling the same thing that I'm doing. <laughs> That's crazy. That's why I'm doing this in the same session as before. Okay. Come on, Colin. The water's not that cold. <laughs> yeah, do it, man. Although I wonder, they seem genuinely happy together, and, well, you know, context, just gotta find it. Hmm. Is it weird that I thought I was gonna get spiked by Undyne for a sec? A faded painting of Bora Bora. And is that the same... Oh my god, you got a roof... I mean, a floor where you can see the fish. That's neat. Looks like he's about to lay down some rhymes. I doubt it. About to make some planes. Fia? You still awake? Nope. <laughs> Heavyweight sleeper champion. Told you lemon juice is the way to go. You let me be drunk at my honeymoon. And do what I want. Well, she sure isn't much of a graceful sleeper. And hibiscus. That hibiscus. This is more of a suitable place for that kind of flower. And then we gotta trek all the way back to get that drink that spilled. That was the memento. Yay, backtracking! At least it's a beach. Life's the beach. And then you die. <laughs> mm -hmm. Amaretto sour. Will be amaretto. I can't move anything up. How even? What is it? Some triggers change the memory lanes themselves. Oh? Uh -huh. Whoa! Okay. Cool. What? Oh, that wasn't it. It was the napkin you used to mop it up. Okay. I gotcha. Let me move that one. Hmm. How about this one? Yeah. And back to Faye. The closer we get, the more nervous I am. <laughs> hey, your shift's about to start at the shop. Okay, I'm almost done here. Did you even get your homework done yet? I'll do it when there's no customers. Sneaky, I like it. Did you get yours done? <laughs> Good one. Hmm. Started from the bottom and he worked it to the top. Psst, that new kid they hired is really quiet. 
Yeah, but at least he gets the work done. Doesn't he have a scheduled flight this afternoon? Yeah, but we're uh, playing short because someone snagged a blown tire. Unless someone gets cancelled, I don't think he'll get to fly. Does he even have an instructor yet? Beats me. Hey, I think they're talking about you. I know. Shh. <laughs> the cat plane stayed. My gosh. And that's how equilibrium is achieved through the four forces of light. Any questions? Um, why does the plane have a cat's head? I don't know. It was on there when I got here, so I just rode over it. <laughs> Colin, why do you look guilty? A blurred entry about working at the airport and Faye falling asleep on the wing of the plane. There are also some random class notes. Read? Sure. The runways. The runway numbers actually tell you the direction of the runway. Simply add a zero to the end of the runway number and you have the magnetic heading it's facing. Hmm. E example, runway 9 means it is 90 degrees on a magnetic compass so it's facing east. Oh, I see. This is also why the numbers on opposite ends of each runway are always 118, 180 degrees apart. Each plane has a minimum airspeed it must maintain under each configuration to keep flying. Something about exceeding critical angle of attack and airflow spreading from the airfoil, etc, etc. In conclusion, planes are kind of like the bus in that movie, which explodes if it goes under 50 miles per hour. <laughs> Speed. Contrary to some beliefs, engine failure doesn't make the plane plummet out of the sky. The plane would no longer be able to climb, but can still land in a pilot-controlled glide. Reminder to self. Engine failure doesn't just make the... Pr eh. You just wrote that over and over. Okay. Here, let me get that for you. You just gotta unhook it from the inside and... Wow! That is some crazy maneuvering, kid. I've been here for years. I could, I could never figure that thing out. And I only just helped you. You must have, like, some kind of magical vending power. Uh, I only know because I have to clean it, so... <laughs> hey. Credit where it's due. Should have claimed the magical vending power. Alright. Okay, here's $24 and change. Wow, that's a lot of pennies. It's okay, I have all day. That's great. Because I gotta sit here and take that. Oh my gosh. Why is... I can't walk through you. Should be able to fizzle you. Just like that, huh? I guess everyone has their reason to start flying. Hmm. And what about you? Well, just between you and me, flight instructing isn't my real passion. In fact, before I came here to teach, I was an acrobatic skywriting pilot. Wow, like making stuff appear in the sky with plane trails? Yep, I was darn good too. But then I got fired. Why? Total discrimination, I tell ya. It was all because they found out I'm an illiterate who dropped out of school. Did they care that I was the most skillful pilot in the fleet? No. But just because I don't read good, they dropped me like a hot potato. Ah, it roused me up just thinking about it. Yeah, that really doesn't sound fair. Well, um, maybe if I need your service one day, I'll be able to hire you. Thanks, kid. Man, first you get me my soda, then you vow to give me my give my life meaning again. I see that I'm gonna have to flight instruct the heck out of ya. <laughs> that went well. She sure makes herself at home. I have to wonder if Faye and Sophia are like the same person or something. Hmm, we might be in a bit of a rut. There's still a memory link missing and the readings indicate we've activated everything in the area. Eh, maybe you could stimulate his memory somehow. Get the jar of olives. <laughs> 
Hopefully, let's keep our eyes open. Well, um, maybe if I need your service one day, I'll be able to hire you. What? The pennies, I guess. I don't know. Nope. What the? Did you feel that? What? I don't know. Some kind of a breeze. Someone in this room is going to die. <laughs> huh. This wasn't open earlier. Did you do that? Uh, if I did, you would know. I've been literally right behind you. In fact, I don't even know why I'm just following you in a constant manner. <laughs> because it's easy to program. It occurs to me that an illiterate couldn't... What? I actually saw this on the Steam page, but I still don't get it. <laughs> what the heck is this? I... Don't know. But it seems like this may be our ticket out of this memory. So what, we needed a way to continue and this place just magically opened itself up? In the most unsettling way, no less? Yeah, this is like... Some Lovecrafty and stuff going on, I don't know. I'm not sure what's going on with this place either, but there's only one way to go now. Come on, we gotta jump. Oh, hell no, I can't even look down! <laughs> Oh, hell no! Oh, hell no! Yeah, I get it. Okay. It's the only way to find out, Neil. Okay, I'm jumping in three, two... That static thing pushed it. Quit pushing me off, Legisava! What? I didn't push you! The fuck you didn't! <laughs> Before I lose the thought, I think an illiterate couldn't write well in the sky, but hey. Whoa! Hey, you hanging on alright? What is even going on and why is this happening? Wait, tone your ham down. I think I see them inside. This is so cool. What is even going on and why is this happening? <laughs> Perfect. You're doing just fine. We're not gonna die. Now, do you have the runway in sight? I... I think so? Okay, fly the approach and don't forget the cockpit check. Um, mixture full rich. Uh, primary and unlocked. Zero Yankee Romeo, cleared to land one way two one. Zero Yankee Romeo. We're too high. Get some flaps in there. Speed! Lower the nose! Alright, I have control. Oh, thank god. Plane surfing. Hold on, looks like we're gonna land. This is a dream. This is what good dreams are made of. <laughs> and Neil had a heart attack and died. <laughs> hey, you all good? No, Ava. I'm not all good. In fact, I'm dead. <laughs> Get the fuck up! Alright! <laughs> oh my god, that's brilliant. How are you doing? Is it normal to feel kind of dizzy? Don't worry, you'll get past it in time. You know what? Here, take my hat. Ah, you remind me of back when I was a young lad. As in, back then, I also knew someone who else who was nervous like you. Hey, you look pretty cool in that. This is nothing compared to the acrobatic skywriting fights I've done, I tell ya. One day I'm gonna get back to that. 
did it for the chicks. Bam! Right to the noggin. Pow! Right in the kisser. <laughs> Another headshot, Ava. No scope. 360. Booyah! Give him the concussion. What are you doing? <laughs> She picked it off his head. You're lucky I programmed my head to be as hard as a rock. You sure planned ahead. Okay. So a thing to change the path and the path itself. Let's see. Uh hmm. Okay. Whoops. I had it. Yep. Easy peasy. Stupid sticky keyboard. So will you marry me? Oh my god, how did you mess up Mary so bad? Damn it, Barry! <laughs> I knew it! Litter Skyrider. This is what happens. Well, he did warn him. Oh my god. Well, that one's not on you. It's on Barry. For the whole city to see. <laughs> oh my god, that makes it even better. Come on, it was cute. So that's why he got fired. Well. It is so... Like, all our life events are connected in some way or another, but this is... You know, it's... What am I trying to say? Uncanny? Just how these loops happen. Seriously? Only one single orb for the memory of his proposal? Hey, at least he remembered it. So that he could regret it. Come on, it was cute. At least he got Fia, right? Man, how are you able to pilot an airplane but not drive a car? Priorities, thanks to you. Come on, we're gonna be late. Is this prom? She's sure getting a lot of screen time compared to his wife at his proposal. There's something about her that really bothers me. Oh, don't take it so personally. It's not like Colin's your husband. That's not what... <sighs> Never mind. Hey, actually... Stop it! What's the matter? You know, I think I'm going to pass on this one. It's your first rehearsal with them, right? You're nervous enough as it is. Hey, I'm not nervous. And even if I, uh, were... Well, you being there would help. I guess, but... I can't always hang around, you know? Besides, you'll be able to concentrate better without me hanging about. Hey, remember how you always used to tell me about your day after school? Why don't you go on ahead and you can tell me about all about it after the rehearsal? Okay, then it's decided. Bye! What the? You'll be fine! Wow, what a wacky gal. Wacky gal. <laughs> okay.
Ah, oh, that's the creepy music. Is this when it cuts off abruptly? Because, you know, it's get it keeps getting closer together and they still haven't. Something bad. Something bad is gonna happen. Hey, the rehearsal's about to start. Chop, chop. Bean bucket. Whoa, memento. Right? This is the same stage he played with Fia, isn't it? That's Fia. Is this the right place? Ah, I can't believe I'm late! Was that... Sophia? I guess so. Okay. So now we're finally... Are you kidding me right now? I ha Get out of my life, scam cults. Okay, stop, stop, stop everything. Something was off around bar 36. From somewhere on my right side. By someone in the cello section. <laughs> someone sitting in the second row toward the front. Colin, is it? I think you were rushing a bit. Better watch that. I will. Regrets never did cello good. Alright, let's pick back up from bar 35. Right into the solo. Ready? Everyone looks cooler with a metaphorical spotlight. <laughs> well, at least things worked out. Things kinda worked out, you mean, or we, we wouldn't be here. Too true. So true it hurts. Okay. I wish I could pinpoint where the orbit ended so I knew, so I had some sense of progression, but hey, any thrush? Oh, that's a switcher. I would, oh, changes it to cannot move. I think that's a mistake. I think I shouldn't do that. Oh, okay. Uh, that is a bad death. Yeah. And to the aquarium. All right, I'm done with mine. Me too. Let's see what you What is that? My best effort. <laughs> Going on dates already? He sure moves fast. Well, we're still skipping around. Sometimes probably past. A quick pencil sketch. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Gee, I wonder who you learned to draw like that from.
Yeah, it is really like Faye's cat head, I guess. What the? I thought that was like a giant sea creature. It was just part of the background. Don't do that to me, man. <laughs> Ah, oh, the petting pool. What's it called? Hey, where's it going? Oh, a little squid! Yay! Wow, for a cephalopod, it sure is cuddly. It actually kind of tickles. <laughs> there we go. Regret, ink attack. No, don't change that. That's awesome. That's the kind of story you can make everyone laugh to. See, she gets it. Why is this even in the petting pool? Hmm. What is that big thing over there? Oh my god. What? 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 Jellyfish! Jellyfish! <laughs> uh, are you feeling alright, Eva? So many of them! That's pretty cool. Well, uh, it's good to have interests other than gardening, I guess. Go take care of this memory, will you? Just leave me be for a while. Right. <laughs> Aw. Jellies are cool. To watch, at least, not to get stung by. Well, I guess I've always loved the piano, but... When I was a kid, I had a piano teacher. Every time I played, she made me feel like the worst pianist in the world. For a while, I stopped going... Oh my god, look at that giant thing on the right. Okay, stop. For a while I stopped going and I stopped playing. But I guess I was a kid with no self-esteem because it really got to me. And whenever I doubted myself I'd remember her words. One day I had enough. And I said to myself, someday I'm going to be a concert pianist. But isn't that letting her dictate what you do with your life? Well, I guess I have a weird way of seeing things. To me, it doesn't matter much which path I take, as long as I make the most of it. There's only so little time in this life, and we'd never be able to do all that we want. No matter what we do, there'd always be other things to try, other paths to take. We'd be happy with a lot of different life tangents. Uh. So in the end, I think I just have to be satisfied with the ones that I took. Hint hint, nudge nudge, Colin. <laughs> But I'm just blabbering now. Enough about me. How about you? What made you want to become a pilot? Um... <laughs> I... <laughs> I wanted to fly to places. That's it? Um... <laughs> a long time ago, a friend of mine went somewhere far away. I guess I just... wanted to go find them again. Are we talking about the bird or about Faye? Both would work in this context. Anything important going on up there? Not sure. I was staring at the sharks. Okay, call me when we're ready to move on. Yep, yep. Go on, I'll be right there. Okay. I have a feeling sadness is imminent. Get the hankies ready, Mina-san.
Hmm. The placement of the X's makes this really weird. I can only only have control over two rows right now. What? I was focusing on the wrong one the whole time. I'm... Uh, end me. Hey, we're good to move on now. Go on then, I'll catch right up. Nah. <laughs> hey, enjoy the little things. You sure are taking your time. Hey, no one's kicking me out. Good thing I got my hours in time, huh? You'd better have, it's gonna be a different world out there. You ready to go? Yeah, in a moment. You done with your jellyfish phase? It's not a phase, and yes. What's going on here? Not sure yet, but the place sure looks deserted. I had this weird thought that Faye might not be real. Want to draw a plane? No one will be here to see it anyway. Because I actually haven't seen anyone else interact with Faye as well. Hmm, I guess all things come to an end. Maybe those people who came out on the balcony weren't her parents, but like the actual residents of the apartment who were like, why did you just throw a plane over here? You've always liked that picture, yes? You've always liked that picture, yes? I had them save it for you. Just a little something to remember this place by. Thanks, boss. You've done good work for us, kid. Honest, respectful work. Oh, and I almost forgot. Your favorite plane's still here for one more day before we move her. If you want to give her one last flight before then, it's on the family. Ah, Yeah, sweetheart, boss. These shelves sure look weird being empty, huh? This whole place does. Now that I think about it, Faye may not be real. That is like a distinct possibility. Especially how Colin's mind already kind of, as he says, mixes daydream with reality. So, what's the next step? With the airport closing down and all? Sure. Well, there's the fright flying job I applied for. I did an interview with them the other day. I think I got a, had a good chance at it. There's still a long way to go, but that'll help me build some more flight hours. Wow! To think that you've actually come so far. It feels like only yesterday we were still standing on that balcony. Thanks for giving me the kick I needed, by the way. Happy to have obliged. Hey, any progress with that lady from the orchestra? Sophia? Well, we've been talking. And? I don't know. I might try to ask her out on a date soon. But, well, you know how I am with that stuff. Wanna help me prepare? No, I'm not sure if I'd be of much help with those sort of things. 
But if you want advice, I'd say to just work on making yourself more interesting, blah blah. Yeah, yeah, still a work in progress. We haven't been talking as often lately, you know? Sometimes even when I'm here, you just do your own thing. I know. Sorry, it's just been so busy. You know, the, there's another thing. It's like his younger memories are more vibrant. Sophia said later on, you've seen here more often. I think dude has like... I think he might be taking meds for schizophrenia or something here. The good kind though, right? Seems to me like you've got it together. I... Hey, you gonna take up that flight the boss offered? Barry said there's a grass strip near the hill... Barry said there's a grass strip near the hill we used to go to, right? Might be a good time to try a landing there. Yeah. You coming along? Mm hmm? It's odd how such a simple wish of being happy could be so tangled up. He sure didn't make it easy on us by being ambiguous with the details. Here, I got an idea. <laughs> Permanent marker. What? There, now let's go get paid. You moron, you can't just draw him a smile like that. <laughs> so that's what that is. Lips are red, not black. <laughs> Great job! Now he looks like an affectionate joker. <laughs> We've almost burned through all the memories, haven't we? I guess. The vortex should be just up ahead. Good. Maybe that'll help us get to the source of what he wants. As if we don't know that already. Hmm? It's her, obviously. There's a reason she keeps on showing up. The guy's clearly got his childhood sweetheart on his mind and has been asking what ifs. He wants her, but he's got principles, so he knows he can't have her. The perfect equation for a sad, sad man who needs our help hacking the root of the problem. Are you suggesting to remove her? Well, if we do, you'd be the expert. But whatever happens, we'd have to change something. And in the end, she's the one we could alter the most anyhow. Colin himself said we should try to avoid changing things involving his family, right? And out of these memories, Faye's the only other consistency that we keep coming back to. I guess you're right. We could start with her and work our way up from there. But something still doesn't add up. Hello? What? C could it be? It's me, Roxy! I'm here! Oh. How's it going in there? <laughs> Stop being God. <laughs> uh, awesomely, of course! Get it off quick! <laughs> how, uh, how are you doing? Did you bring the paperwork? Yep, I brought the paperwork, alright. I also brought Rob! What?! I can't stand that guy! I can hear you. Hi, Rob! <laughs> hey. Anyway, you guys wanna come out real quick to get the paperwork done? We're kind of on a roll here. Maybe we should ask them to help us with the papers. Oh, by the way, Neil, I was gonna ask... About the machine. I think I saw... I'm heading out! Get the forms ready for a fly then. Wait, what? You know the protocol, Zeva. Colin's our patient now, and one of us has to check the forms. Yeah, but we've let others help before, and headquarters never cared. Maybe we should have cared, Ava. Maybe we should have cared. When were you one for protocol? Anyway, get that last memory link while I'm gone, will ya? I won't take long. And call me when we're ready to go to the next memory. I don't want to miss it. Hey!
Hmm. Are we gonna be switching back and forth again? Act two. You don't have to leave anymore. Hmm. Break out the hankies. So, let me get this straight. You took apart the whole machine because the maintenance department sucks but Look, it was the easiest way. Had I just left it to the company process, it would have never gotten done. Much like this paperwork. Oh my gosh, I just realized! You're talking and writing it at the same time! That's amazing! I hope it didn't cause you to make a mistake, I'm so sorry! You know, sometimes even I can't tell if you're being sarcastic, and that's saying a lot. Come to think of it, you actually remind me a bit of someone from this patient's memory. She's wacky and all over the place, too. Oh, but I would have loved to meet her. I'm sure you would have. Too bad we're gonna have to do something about her. Anyhow, whoosh, the paperwork's done and signed. Thanks for bringing in the Dark Strax. I'm gonna go check on Colin. Oh, you're just gonna get away like that? You might have fooled Ava and Rob, but did you think you could fool a fellow technician? I did a quick diagnostic earlier. Seems like you've done more than just removing the stabilizer. The machine you're using here isn't even your official Sigmund equipment, is it? Because your registered machine is back at headquarters in your office. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, this is just... I don't know what you're up to, but I'm gonna find out. Hey, Rob! How's the situation looking? It's fine. I was talking with the medical doctor and... What's with the murderous atmosphere? Oh, Rob, you tripping again. No, I am not, in fact, tripping again. Is everything going okay in here? Swimmingly! Neil was just gonna go check on Colin. Yeah, I'm gonna go check on Colin. Hey, about earlier. Never mind that. How's progress with the patient? Just, well, we've almost unlocked his entire timeline. Then we'll just send the signal and bam, another job well done. Sounds like you've got everything under control. You bet. Hey look, I still think I owe you an explanation for what happened earlier. When I said I couldn't stand you, I swear it was only because I thought you weren't listening. <laughs> uh-huh, move along. Your coat is so shiny, Neil. Did you get it dry cleaned? How can you switch tones like that without third degree whiplash? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, so yeah, about your machine. Ah, uh, yep, dry cleaning is just the best. <laughs> you got stuff to talk about later, yeah? Mm. What is going on, Neil? Are you keeping secrets? Ah, uh, family album. Yep, yep. Oh, more pages. Nope. I actually saw that. Okay. Huh. A whole lifetime of memories, and we barely ran into any of these nice ones. I think the dude is focusing too much on his regrets. Hmm. Kinda wanna see the green book. Oh, Sophia! Hi! You're out early. Just needed to take care of some things. I'm heading back soon. That's good. Hmm. I don't know. Not until we get some firm context. Hey, wait. Dr. Watts, right? I know what you saw in there is confidential, but there's something I was wondering. Did you find anything about why Colin put this book here, and like this? Uh, no. I actually wanted to ask you about that. 
He's had it for a long time now, but he kept on replacing its pages. And now it's just filled with pieces of blank paper. If you find something about it that's meant for me, please do let me know. That's all I ask. I'll keep it in mind. He's not going to hear me like this. I need to use the machine. Taking a breather, huh? Paperwork, mostly. How's he looking? Colin's okay so far, but you guys sure are stirring things up in there. Stirring things up? What do you mean? It's his brain activity. It's been abnormally high for a sedated patient. Try not to aggravate him too much in there. Wait, what? But we haven't been doing anything different compared to any other patient. Hey, I'm only telling you what I see. Anyway, just try to keep it in mind. I'll continue to monitor his status. Bro is just naturally active, I guess. Hey, may I talk to you in private for a moment? Uh, well... Yeah, okay. Alright, come on. What's up? There's something I wanted to ask you. It's about my father's wish and what you saw in there. You know that's confidential, right? Yes, but... You must know what it's like being the family of a patient undergoing this procedure. To be honest, my mother was always against it, and I wasn't a big fan either. But if father were to take on a new life's worth of memories... Well, knowing what and why would at least help me come to terms with it. So please, could you tell me? I don't have firm context yet, and I think... I think Neil's got the wrong idea about Faye here. Look, as much as I want to spill the beans for you, my hands are tied. Company policies and whatnot. Yeah, I understand. Hey, if it helps, he really did ask for you and your mother to stay as part of his new life. But I can only tell you that much. Hope it still means something. Thanks, Doc. Okay, I'm feeling really awkward right now. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ava, do you hear me? Neil? Yep, how's it going in there? Just trying to find the last memory link. Still? There is only one left. Yeah, I just, I don't know, I've looked everywhere. But the scan shows there's only w one more here somewhere. I'm gonna find it. Are you done with the paperwork? Well, I just... Oh. Damn it. Is that your condition you're hiding? Where are my pills? Neil? I better not have left them in the car again. Hey, you still there? Sorry, I'm not finished with the paperwork yet. Uh, how long does it take to fill and sign some papers? It's, uh, almost ready. I'll come back as soon as it's done. Alright, just make it quick. It shouldn't take that long to get to the car and back. And you should not be keeping secrets. You are gonna have a heart attack on the job one of these days. If I didn't just jinx it to happen right now. I want to go talk to them, but I feel like if I don't get the pills, I'm going to conk over. Why are you not back in there yet? Constipation. Looks like it. Go take a walk. That doesn't look like work. It's Space Invaders 12, the origin story. Turns out they were mutant humans, and we were the aliens all along. I'm going to kill them all. <laughs> so you're just going to hang around here? Yes? Nope. Bye. <laughs> Dad! 
Die, die, die! Oh no, I killed one! What? <laughs> ah, the dual human desires at war. I wonder if I can actually have that conversation that Jack had. Oh shit! You're from Sigcor! Yes, I can! Am I really dead? Uh, no. Don't lie to me, I just signed up for your services last week. They said you'd come for me when it's time. I already said we're not here for you, man. No, I, I'm not prepared. I can't die yet. Oh, I know. You're not really here. I'm just seeing things. I just drink too much. -la -la -la. What's with your eyes? Oh, my gosh. Curiosity. You're still here! No, this isn't fair. I worked so hard my whole life and I have to die before I've even been to Detroit. Fuck this whole fucking fucking thing and you fucking you fucking You can go to Detroit in our memory thing. You know what? I just realized There's a medical doctor with you, right? Perhaps perhaps they could still save me. Maybe they just put in more effort. I've got some money. Tell them I'll pay. Tell them I'll pay anything. Go, go to the real world and tell them to save me, please. It's not too late. <laughs> I'm a bad person right now. <laughs> you again. No, no need to speak. I know what you're going to say. If there were ways to save me, they would have done it already. <laughs> There's no hope for me. What good are fake memories when I have no future? What good is anything, really? Just leave me, Doc. I'm already dead. You know what? I've thought it through. Everybody dies someday. For me, today is as good a day as any. And with you here, you can make my dreams come true. So today is actually my lucky day. So go ahead. Fulfill my wish. Bring Disco back and make me its king! Uh, as I said, you're not our patient, and we aren't here for you. Also, you trippin', man. Bye. <laughs> I sure hope he won't be assigned to us. I am such a bad person. Yeah, he won't open the door now. Okay. <laughs> that was funny, though. <laughs> Waiting for elevators is for NPCs. <laughs> oh, hey! Hey, mister! I knew you'd come by here. Oh, it's you again. Thanks for kicking Amber's doll into the pond for me. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah. Is that your mother? It's okay. I hope you traumatize that kid. <laughs> She's been picking on my potato for years. It's time she learned her lesson. And now that I got an even smaller potato, I was really starting to worry about the future. You named your other kid Potato, too? Of course not. Don't be silly. It's just a nickname. His real name's Spud. Oh, by the way, the front desk man said you're here to visit old man Colin? You know Colin? Yeah, he once literally beat up Amber for me. Did I use that word right, Ma? No, dear. You meant figuratively. Oh, aw. But what whatevs. So anyway, last week, Colin gave me his leftover jar of lemon juice. I haven't seen him since then, though. Could you please give it back to him? Wait, lemon juice? What for? To write spy messages, of course. The book. I knew it. Invisible ink. It's invisible ink. I've already written two secret letters to Spud for when he can read good. Old man Colin said he was already done using it, so I could borrow the whole jar if I wanted. Oh. Huh. Lucky me. So, could you give the jar back to Colin? Well, I don't think Colin needs it anymore. You could probably keep it. Wowie, thanks! I'm gonna write a letter to myself! Okay, Potato, it's time to head back home. Aw, oh, alright. And again with the real world solving the fake world problem. Ava, are you calling from the machine? Yeah, at least this function's still working normally. 
Hey, listen, I think I might have figured out Colin's book with the blank pages. That's not important. Right now I need you to, you to check something for me. Uh, what? Bye! Is everything going okay in there? Did you find that last memory link? No. Are you at a computer? I can be. Good. Could you run a record, record search on Faye and check for any aviation accidents? You think she was in a plane crash? I just want to rule the possibility of something out. I'll send you her extracted profile. There's enough data even without her la last name. Let me know when you have the results. Okay. I think Ava might suspect. Oop. Yeah, get the pills. Hello! Hey, Rax. You're still on your laptop, right? Yep, yep. I just forwarded a profile to you. Mind helping me run a record check? Sure. Mind telling me what you're up with, too, with the machine? Uh... Okie dokie, Paki Loki. It's settled, then. I'll call you back with the results. Okie dokie, Loki Paki. She switched it that time. Stop keeping secrets, boo. It's gonna bite you in the ass. Get your pills and fess up. Hey, Eva, I'm still working on the. Neil? Can you hear me? Uh, yes? Hello? Are you there? I'm right here. What is it? Neil, if you can hear me. Listen, I don't think she... Ava? Uh, you still there? Weird. The comm must be malfunctioning. I'll fix it as soon as I get back. Wait a minute. Huh. That's a nice bike. Sure wish I had one like it. Oh, for... Ava? What happened earlier? No, it's Roxy, you silly putty! Oh. Uh, so how's the record search going? Oh, it's going just great. Actually, no, it's not great at all. Well, what Rob's saying is that it depends on your perspective. What? It's a yes or no question. Did she die in a plane crash or not? Well? He didn't find her. So here's the great part. There's no plane crash to her record, so you won't have to worry about that. Sheesh, why didn't you just say so? A simple no would have sufficed. Well, that's not all, though. The thing is, not only is there no plane crash, there's nothing else to her record either. Nailed it. In fact, there is no record of Faye. As in, no record available to public domain? As in, no record in existence anywhere. We've checked the cumulative public record, the private ID net ne network databases, even... Well, even a few places that we technically don't have access to. <laughs> Still, there is no record of her for anything. No death, not even birth. Oh. Oh. So unless Colin's got some extreme form of distortive amnesiac condition... He doesn't, I checked. Yeah, so... Oh, sorry, I got another call. Hello? Peel. Good. Good to go. Act 3. Even if it was just someone like me. 
Are we gonna about to hit the end of the game already? I think I might have to end the episode here. Hey, where are you two going? Company called. We got another patient going live across town. Yeah, gotta hop. Sorry, Neil. Night call, huh? Should have taken a nap. Heh, <laughs> we're all used to it by now. Seems like you've got a handful to sort out yourself, huh? Yes, if what we yielded means what I think it means, you might be in for a tricky evening. At least from our experience, patients capable of that tend to be rather... peculiar cases. I've read the patient's case, by the way. Care for a word of advice? Well, you're probably gonna give it anyway, so... I don't know the details of Colin's life, but this reminds me of a case we've done. Just try to remember that making someone happy isn't only about finding the answers. It could also be about shaping the question. Anyhow, good luck. By the way, don't think you're getting off the hook easy. After this is done, you've got some explaining to do, don't you? Uh, and it's gonna be so much fun! See ya! I'm looking forward to it! Oh wait, something just occurred to me. Although I'm not sure why yet, I do know that you removed the machine stabilizer. But with the patient's subconsciousness being neurowired to the system's processor, well, I hope you got a backup plan if he's able to get around its single-thread firewall. What? 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 Our bro may be able to hack the machine itself? I need to stop. I need to stop. I need to stop. Hey, I think I saw your partner spasming just then. Is something wrong? Uh, of course not. We got this, don't worry. I'm going back in there now. Okay, I'm counting on you. We can talk later. Please head it back in there for now. Seems like something's gone wrong. Hey, you might want to get back in there. What happened? Another spike in brain activity. Even more so than before. I don't know what, but something's going on in there. Yeah. I'm heading back in to check with Ava. Next time. Because I... Everything's screaming at me. And if I don't take a break now, shit is gonna hit the fan. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh boy, revelation upon revelation here. Not always about finding the answers, but about shaping the question. Hmm. A fulfilling life changing as little as possible. Ironing out the regrets. Or... Does he kind of want Faye to be a real person? That would be interesting. Hmm. And I hope Eva's doing alright. Oh boy. This is a bad note to leave it off on. But <laughs> I have a feeling next time it's gonna like escalate. In the way that the previous one did. Where uh, you know. Eva and Neil were. Trying to get past the beta block of memories. And um. And throw in zombivas and plants at each other and all that. I have a feeling it's gonna be a straight shot to the finish, most likely. So, thank you all for tuning in. Please comment and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And remember, you all have the potential to get good. Peace out.